Welcome back, everybody. Everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. A little bit of a series here on the DLC courses. So we're going to start with the Green Country Club, and we're going to play the Outward Nine. Um, I got this, I think, because I bought um, the game early, and they gave you the first one for free. I don't know if you can purchase it separately, but if you can buy it, you can work out if you think it's value for money. Um, so we're going to play a nine-hole round. It's uh, a par four. I might use my standard clubs rather than my custom clubs, just so you can kind of see what it's like with a with a normal set of clubs. Uh, but I have got a reasonable skill level, just so you can see. So I've got a fair bit of distance and control. So just bear that in mind. Uh, now this is kind of your standard golf course. It's it's fairway and rough, as you can see, with some big bunkers. So I suppose it's your PGA American style golf course, target golf, if you will. Um, you know, not a Lynx course like um, Imperial Garden, but not a desert course either. So it's kind of your traditional. I suppose the closest standard course would be, look at that, he even misses his first fairway, um, would be sort of Eagle City, but with more trees and a bit more altitude. Eagle City is quite a flat course. Um, but again, this has reasonably big greens. Um, so again, it's not, it's not a hard course. You know, I mean, Eagle City is very, very easy, but, um, you know, it's, it, this is certainly not like Imperial Garden with kind of lots of undulations and really tight greens. So this putt breaks left, um, and it's a fairway uphill, and I've been very guilty of under-hitting my uphill putts recently. So let's see if that's enough juice to get it up there. Break, and of course, what I didn't do is give it too much juice, although it wasn't breaking anywhere near enough. And with mega cups, you shouldn't be missing birdie putts, if we're honest. Well done. But hey, you know, you got to play the course as you find it. So mega cups, long tees, normal wind. So part two, if you've watched my spin video, you'll have seen this hole before. Um, of course, with, with normal clubs, I'm not even hitting around the corner. So a little bit into a headwind, and it's a little bit right to left. But we'll just hit this one. Down the middle, got the ultra top spin, which you should now know how to do. And if not, have a look at my um, my video on spin. Gives you a little bit more roll. I mean, it's a couple of yards, if I'm honest. It's not, you know, 10% or anything ridiculous. That puts us in a reasonable position. So straight into the headwind. Again, nice big green, plenty of room to work with. Uh, but it's a three iron, so it's still quite a long club. So the wind shouldn't have too much impact. But it does mean stopping the ball. Master ball. Yeah, wind's really caught it, actually. I've underestimated that. But we're on. That's the main thing. So we've got a 22-foot putt. Going to break a little bit. It's the pace up the hill I need to read. Let's give it a good thump. With a bit of luck, that's enough. Yep. There you go. It's a plenty eagleable, the par five, even with a standard club. Hole three is a par three. Okay, so par three, uh, 174, not too challengingly long. Again, it's all about getting the ball in the right spot, really. Okay. Uh, that's probably short. It's a little bit downhill, though, so we'll see. I pitched it on the green, at least. And it's sort of run on, but... Yeah, about 11 foot. Oh, that buddy. But again, these greens, particularly with mega cups, the nice flat Stopping greens, down, which really helps. There's no sort of complex double breaks I can see. And not too much altitude. So there we go, another birdie. Sorry, just have a drink of water there. Apologies for the noise. So we're at three under. It's a par four. So quite a long par four into the wind. Um, Again, a little bit of, little bit of um, fairway to lay up into. Worth the power short? I don't know. Let's see how far up we can get. Because I want to clear those trees if I can. Great shot. No, that's not bad. Can I get up on that top tier of fairway? Yeah, there we go. That clears those trees. So I've got a nice straight shot in. Sort of over that. Actually, no, not quite over that bunker. So I've got a nice clean line in. So let's account a little bit. It's a little bit uphill. 
Got the backspin on it. Oh, neat shot. The question is, is it too short? Oh, live wind took it more than I thought. That's okay. That's dragged me away a bit. So that's been a 12 footer instead of a 7 footer. Chance for a birdie. Ah, but there you go. So the break ease is off here. And that means it, it breaks Most less than you think as a rule because you're hitting it faster at the start where the break has less impact. Yeah, it just creeps in. I'll take it. Yeah, done and done. Is right. So another par four. It's a par four. Again, this one dog's legs a little bit left. So the question is, how much of a chunk cup can I take out of it? And this is where spin will help you because what you can do here is shake the ball to move from right to left, so you're over more of the fairway and not coming in over that rough and uh, bunker. So let's try that. So we're gonna go down and left to start, up and right to finish. Got the ultra spin on it. And if you look at the path there, see it's over fairway all the way. So if you're not really sure where you're going to land, it can be quite useful to make sure you do land on something good. It's 115 to go. There's people driving that green. Maybe maybe if I can move my custom clubs, I could do that. So 9-iron, so the wind is going to catch it. So we need to get that up and stop it. Okay, so it's pretty much flat. Got the backspin on it. All about where she lands. That's not bad. Ah, didn't really need the ultra backspin. Really, you need to just pitch it on a bit further. Roll with it. I've got about ten foot of backspin Roll there. The I think that nine iron. I've got all the max backspin on it. Sloping uphill. It's so breaking a tiny, breaking a tiny bit left, Suzuki. Not much, but I'll need more power than that. So let's try that. Oh, I needed more power than that even. That's one of the things I'm guilty of is just not... I don't really... Particularly on things that are sort of half a foot more. Reading how much power you need, I really struggle with. But there you go, it's par. So six is a nice long par four. Pretty straight. As I said, it's not a difficult course. You know, there's no sort of challenging fairways or decisions to make it's all about getting your shots on the on the fairway on the green and holding your putts it's nice simple golf if you see what i mean and i suppose if you were a beginner this is actually a good sort of second course after eagle city just tweaks up the difficulty level a bit but isn't ridiculously hard you know if you get something like imperial garden which you get in the later ranks i mean that's a difficult course particularly if the wind picks up where it just becomes you know, a real lottery. So, got it up. Awesome. Wind's going to catch it. They like it. Over pitch, but the backspin. Go on, kick in. Go on. Wow, that's a lot of backspin. It's like my, uh, my approach would. I mean, that's a good putt, isn't it? I'll take, you know, those putts three footers every day of the week. And you can see the difference there on your second shot. If you can get in range for the approach wedge and the pitching wedge, you know, you can really get some grip on the ball and control it. It's a par three. Uh, this is a super short par three. It's only a five iron. Which happens to be my best club iron wise. So this is all about getting it up and getting it on and getting it stopped. Because it's at the back of the green. Got the spin on it. Master of all. Awesome. Where's that gonna pitch? Good, good. Go on. Spin back. Go on. Go on. It's got a chance. Got a chance. Ah. See, five iron, not as much spin as the wedge. If that had been the wedge, the spin on it would have been ridiculous. So it breaks a little bit at the end. So we'll just put it inside the right edge. And a bit like any break just takes it to the middle. There we go. You can definitely hit a hole in one on that hole for sure. So we've got four or five finish. It's a par eight. four. Par four. Bit of, bit of a dog. Like just those sort of trees in that bunker there. But certainly when you've got the short club, when you've got your standard clubs, it's not, no real challenge about where you want your approach to go. Obviously, if you had longer clubs, you've got some choices to make as about how you get up there. But there's people driving the green. We're going to play a nice safe shot to about there. And just give ourselves a good line in. Yeah. And a nice lie in the middle of the fairway to attack the pin. 
Because again, this, this course is really about setting up that second shot. So I'm going to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a line that's just going to push us right. We've got a bit of a tail, but it's a little bit uphill. But again, pitching works so I can get the spin on it. Got the spin on it. Got the impact. Bravo. What's this one going to do? It's going to over pitch. Now this should come back a fair way. Yeah. Wow. That's a ridiculous amount of spin. Oh, great play. That must have come back 20 oh, foot. Buddy. Okay, right. So this is pretty Sloping even break. Uphill. Again, I feel so I need to make sure I hit it. And it's going to break. Now, is that enough? Or is that too much? Oh, yeah, that's alright. So hold to go, seven under. This will be the last. Oh, man. It's a par five. And again, this one's pretty straightforward. You see the, the longest drives, they're just driving and laying up just before the water. Uh, no such problems for us. We can just hit the snot out of it because um, it's all we've got. Got the ultra top spin on it. Oh, nice so she'll get a nice kick as it lands. They land on the uphill part. That's it. Bounce on. That should give us a nice second shot in. Should be a reasonably flat lie. Yeah, flat lie, 170 to go. Bit of a tailwind. Five iron, so I'm not getting as much grip. Can I drop it a club? No. Yeah, so we'll play the five iron. And this is all about, it's a little bit downhill. You want to get it up and get it stopped. Look at the pitch front edge. That's all right, apart from the line, really. Pace was absolutely spot on. Left ourselves a five footer. Five foot for an eagle? Well, I'll, I'll take that. So, with a bit of luck, a nice firm part. Just drops him. That's always good. Finish with an eagle. Nine under. Not a bad round of golf. So that gives you a feel for the outward nine. Uh, please watch next time and I'll, I'll show you the, the inward nine. Um, let's just see how we did. I've, there's people probably going around this in 21 under. But they'll have considerably better clubs. And 17 actually. Is that not even... Okay, that's 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 a, oh, interesting school. Um, and daily rivals wise. Yeah, people have done 11. I could I could go 11 if I, if I tried. Uh... If I use the long clubs, I think I could get 11 under there. But I'm happy with 9 under. Okay, so that's the first one of this series of the DLC courses. Next time we'll look at the inward 9. Um, and I hope to show you the other two DLC courses as well. So please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for a little bit more of everybody's golf.